up everyone? I am the guard. I'm the V. I'm finally back. Yay. And we got someone else to go and see in Hive Sub's friend sim. Now, when... I have been promised a certain kind of person today. I am about to present you a buff woman. Yeah. Volume 7 is a boost who flagrantly illegal. We go and get someone else. Connell Okamoa. Whoa. She buff. I've got to think of a voice for her. Right now, your travels have brought you to what appears to be a normal road in an innocuous part of town. Not particularly upscale, but not exactly a rat trap either. Just pretty average. <laughs> You're not very good at hiding. A row of those spiky purple bushes line the side of the road, and behind one of them stands a large, fierce troll, who is constantly furtively up and down the street. Okay, that's less average. <laughs> Hey, are you her? Huh? I mean, are you her? Are you who I'm waiting for? Hmm, well, your first instinct is definitely to tell her that yes, of course you are who she's wa been waiting for, provided she's been waiting for a new friend. I feel like the voice I've just given her is not gonna work. But honestly, you aren't sure if your stick is going to work on this girl. She got stappies. Also, there's no guarantee I'm her. Hmm. <laughs> and that's POV that has no gender. Non-binary. Hmm. Of course, not what I was thinking! Ah! Ah! This is so infuriating! She's so late, I'm so bored! <laughs> I've ended up as like Magnus. <laughs> Do you think she's coming soon? You don't know who she means. But you suspect she might have more comfortable she might be more comfortable waiting somewhere that isn't a spiky purple shrub. Don't be stupid! My clients value discretion! <laughs> it's like a combination of Magnus and I can't remember his name, but it was like in the first um box cast. Ah. You mean the I'll, second one? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I'll do I'm... anything for you, Emperor! Helbrecht. Helbrecht. We've got a combination of Helbrecht and Magnus. I have you to lay low! You should fashion your next couch out of stone. <laughs> it's much more comfortable. Now it's, it's a sturdy design. Yeah. The shrub hardly manages to cover her, and standing behind it and shouting is definitely not making her less conspicuous. She big. Neither is asking random passers-by whether they are her client. Not that you can talk. Accosting people left and right and asking them to be your friend is kind of your whole deal. Ah, if you aren't country lady, four or five. Ah, I think I know who that is. <laughs> Judging by that, by that spelling, we all go see her. She's big too. She's she tall. Yeah. Then who is? Country lady four five three. Hmm, that almost sounds like. <laughs> She's sorry I'm late. I couldn't. What in tarnation? You'd know that genteel charm anyway. Well, this gonna be fun when I got two voices going on. What to say is the massive dog. Well, my stars, I definitely wasn't expecting to see you around here. What a masterful coincidence. You are incredibly girl to see Skylar, and lady too. All unkidnapped and everything. You give Skylar a hug, Here which she hug. enthusiastically returns. I'll give you she a hug back. She nearly picks you up and off of your feet. You've been drinking your meal! <laughs> Lady shoves her nose against your neck and gives you a few sloppy licks. Does that must be a big room with having you? Uh, I guess, even if it's a weird way of being drawn. Who the heck are you? I have business at this bush! Maybe find your own! Sorry, but I'm in the business your brush has been looking for. Wait, what? You're a country lady? The very same. Oh, the name's Skylar. Hang on, we will go back and fuck this up. This keeps happening. What yeah, there we go, here we go, fixed it, it's a scroll bar. Ah. The name's Skylar Corrigan, pleasure to meet ya. Ugh. I didn't expect you'd be a bronze. I've gotten that before, honestly. Also, by the by, this concerns them too. She puts her hand on your shoulder. Them. There we go. <laughs> MSPA is non-binary. Yeah, just like me. And me. 
It does. It does. Sure enough, they were where they were where they were there when it happened. They even helped me fight off the environments who tried to tear my looses. Right, yeah, you said something about that in your message, but I don't get it. Fucking double clicks. I need to get a new mouse. What do you want me to do? Right, well, the bandits didn't get a lady, but all the kids haven't been so lucky. Little cats have been hit especially hard. I want you to find the bandit's base of operation, and I want you to take them out. Permanently and painfully. Camille's mouth moves slightly, like she is trying to reason through the steps of Skylar's conversation. Then she catches up and a slow grin spreads across her face. Yeah. I like painful and permanent. But wait, you want me to get revenge for someone else's loses? Why? Well, a few of us got together and decided to do something about it ourselves. Since there's no hope of the ARS or the drones doing anything to stop the bandits, and they've all elected me a spokes troll, seeing how I'm the, old, the oldest and least likely shook. Okay, sure. I guess that the why it isn't important. How much do you got? How much are you willing to throw down? I doubt any low cast could afford my fees, let alone a bunch of country rusties. The lady starts to growl, and Skylar puts a pacifying hand on her head. Give me a Ooh, head spinny. Damn it, why do I do with these very powerful voices? Everything's fine, lady. We expected this, didn't we? We were hoping you'd be willing to do it out of the goodness of your him pusher. <laughs> kind of laughs so hard that she spits. Skylar wins. This is especially for those teeth. <laughs> You've got a pan disorder, if you think I take any charity cases. I don't work for petty smiles. Keep your compliments to yourself, Missy. That wasn't... I didn't mean to say that out loud. That's gay. <laughs> That's very gay. Why don't you just go find the bandits yourself? You know full well I don't have the means. But you do. It'll be a walk in the recreation field for you. If you weren't so nasty and selfish. Or maybe you're scared. Ah, you! I'll show you scared! <laughs> look, fight, at fight, kiss, kiss, kiss. look at the bulge in that arm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, hell. They look like they're about to throw down. You gotta do something to defuse this situation. When you know people, ask her if she works on spec. It's not like exactly we've got any means of being able to contact said people. Take me to church. We'll see her in a bit. <laughs> I'll ask if she works on spec, I guess. I don't know what that means. <sighs> what? I, I don't work on spec. I'm only licensed on Altania. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have a license. You explained to Connell that working on spec means doing something for free in hopes that you are going to be paid later. You say it's unlikely that the bandits only go after the loose side. That would be totally ridiculous when there's so many other things in the world to steal. Like money. They probably have just heaps of money in their hideout, and if she breaks in, she can have it all. Skylar doesn't want it, she just wants to save the loose side. You are so not convincing that you almost convince yourself. <laughs> I'm not so sure. It sounds like you might be trying to fuck me over! You let out a scandalized gasp to convey just what an untoward accusation that is. You are shocked. Shocked! <gasps> How dare you! <sighs> Fine! Anything to get away from this stupid bush! She kicks the prickly <laughs> purple shrub so hard it uproots and sails across the street to land on the hood of someone's car. <laughs> She's strong. But you! You're coming with me. I'm gonna hold you to that. And if there's no money, then I'll hold you tighter! Probably around my nothing to And neck. squeeze! Until your weirdly coloured eyes pop out. Yikes. You believe it too. She could definitely do that. No, she couldn't. 
But here's your chance! You've got tons of success stories proving your forced exposure is really the best way to get people to like you. <laughs> Please don't follow that advice. Sounds just peachy. When do we leave? Kanyo <laughs> <laughs> kicks up another bush. She seems to have an anger management problem. Well, you guess she is managing it. She's taking it out on the shrubbery instead of on you or Skylar. Fucking kicks. <laughs> we aren't doing anything. You aren't coming. Lady starts growling again, and Skylar looks like she wants to join in. Excuse me? Camille gets up in her face, moving way faster than someone her size seems to be able. Seems like she should be able to. I don't know. Mostly people can move really fast. You aren't coming. You'll just get in my way. You're distracting. <laughs> He's got the hot. It's gay as fuck, Cornell. Scarlet's mouth twitches just the tiniest bit. That is not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> you keep tricking me. I just meant that you'll probably stop to save some bark beast wrigglers and get us all cold. Skylar crosses her arms and tosses her hair. How? But that makes me dizzy just fine. Yeah, it doesn't help with doing other voices as well. Fine. I'm counting on y'all too. There goes the dog. You figure that the information gathering stage of the operation is next. You've seen heist movies. You know how shit works. Oh, it's gonna be like last time with Free and Rainy. But Cornel just shouts at someone on her palm husk for a while, then launches some coordinates into a car that you're pretty sure isn't hers. It's... It takes you to the outskirts of the city, past long stretches of cracked concrete and urban sprawl. Not exactly the place you expect to find bandits who steal farm animals. You point this out to Cornel. She ta tells you to shut up. So you do. <laughs> she large. You oh. leave the car and walk the last few blocks. The bandits' operation is honestly not super impressive. It's a long industrial structure that looks more like a manufacturing plant than a den of thieves. Is that the car? I don't know. It looks more like a ship. It does. It looks like a plane. It Besides, it is something much more impressive. A sleek black spacecraft. Not like yours. This is the Mercedes-Benz to your banged-up Chevy Malibu. I don't know what those cars look like. <laughs> I know what a Mercedes-Benz looks like, yeah. but not a Chevy. Even before you crash landed it, that thing was a hunk of junk. Well, I guess it's a Chevrolet, but people just call them Chevys. Yeah. Oh, holy shit! Is that... Is that an adult? What, the ship? No, dingus! You follow her frenzied gaze and... Oh, right. The drop beside the ship is taller than anyone else you've seen in here. Her skin a darker grey, her claws incredibly long. Oh, boy. If everyone you've met so far has been a kid... Wow. They all deal with stuff that even adults on your planet don't. Routine death, dismemberment, and like four different relationship dynamics. Is there, re is there really are no mature trolls here? Then where are they? In space. Wait, hold up. You're saying when you're from you live with adults? Uh, yeah. You all live on the same planet? I can't keep it up anymore. My god, Coddle, not only do you murder other trolls for money, you've murdered my voice. <laughs> sure do. Uh, well, maybe you're tougher than you look. Adults are terrifying. Come on, let's get closer. Closer. <laughs> closer. You and Cornell sidle up close enough to the trolls to overhear them haggling over stolen goods. So far, the conversation is too general to tell if they mean the loose eye. I'm gonna need to take a throat three after this. Damn, they must have clothes of steel! Talking back to an adult! I mean, I'm great at rushing in without giving it any thought, but I'm not a total moron! The two trolls appear to come to an agreement. They shake hands and heading back into the, and head back into the warehouse together. That's a typo. Yeah, idea. they shake hands and heading back into the warehouse together. So, what do you think? What should we do? Huh? You? Connell is the expert here. <laughs> yeah, no shit. For punching. I'm also good at slashing. Yeah, I can see that with the claws and knowing your boots. But as the Joe always did the thinking and the planning, he's the one with the eye beams and the big think pan. 
don't tell him I said that. Please. You assure her you couldn't tell as as Dodger anything at all because you don't know who he is. Oh, <clears throat> right. Azadra is a frustrating bulge lord loser who sucks so bad. Also, he's my mate's brick and we have been together for sweeps. <laughs> he's supposed to be here, but he's off being off busy doing some dumb bullshit. So I need you to be the pans of this operation, okay? Please, do this for me. Oh dear. So it's a spaceship before it parts the warehouse. Oh god, okay, uh, fuck. <laughs> This is all yells me. <laughs> what would be the safest course of action? I don't know. Should we go to the warehouse? I feel like both of these could end fucking terribly. Mm -hmm. But hey, we have a save button. So we're gonna. Uh, fo I guess we'll follow the, follow the pirates into the warehouse. Yeah. You decide to follow them into the warehouse. That way, at least you won't be trapped in a confined space if anyone comes back out to check on the ship. <laughs> that is exactly what I was worried about, yes. You get ready to do some James Bond ass shit, ducking behind corners and saying, cover me, maybe executing some sick rolls down the hallway. Get full of your ribs. You can't really do any gymnastics, even when you aren't healing from broken ribs, but fantasy James Bond, you sure can. Carol doesn't bother with any of that. She just stomps down the hallway towards the first door. Damn, she really hadn't been joking when she said she was more into the straightforward approach. Stomp, 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 stomp. Like some kind of nap or only more charismatic. You pick up speed to try and get to the door before she does, just to prevent her from charging in there and getting you both caught immediately. Good thing, too. Through the window in the door, you see what looks like some tiny break room. A couple of trolls are messing around on their palm husks. And a few more are sitting at a table and playing some kind of game that involves cards, dice, and other colorful shells. Hmm. Oh, come on, there's not even that many! We can take them. Ugh. I forgot you weren't my party, you're just dead weight. No real argument there. Polypa told you that most pros work together for a reason. It's much harder on your own. You wonder if Cornell would have, would have been so hot to take the job. If that hadn't been for Skylar's uh, vibes. Yeah, that's the word. Vibes. They were vibing. <laughs> you have to do this. You have to rally. Conal is already losing faith in you. Oh, she had no faith in you in the first place. Whatever. I wouldn't be too surprised. You choose a different door at random and go down it, assuring Conal that you definitely know what the fuck you are doing. <sighs> what? <sighs> Where are you going? You've been down this road before, with Demon and your meat quest through the sewers. The meat quest! This is probably slightly higher stakes, but the, main, <laughs> the, main, the same basic principle applies. Fake it till you make it Change get the that steak. <laughs> higher stakes. Colonel gets annoyed much faster than your other friend, if there's sub-vocalizations or anything to go by. Damn, you really need to step up your game. The cooler the cash, the angrier they are. The easier to angry they are, and the stronger they are, and the longer they live. You skipped one. Kona gets... Yeah, okay. You think back all the heist and infiltration movies you've seen, maybe you can find a locker room or a tall laundry room. Find one of those SWAT slash hazmat suits. I'm just thinking of the bit in um, Shrek 2 where Shrek comes out of the door and he's just wearing the entire hazmat on his head and nobody bats an eyelid. <laughs> Yep, that would be the best plan. Just put on a disguise and wander around like a sneaky fucking oh god damn it. They're so busy focusing on your you are so fo busy focusing on your brilliant plan that you open a door without thinking and find yourself looking at the trolls playing the card game. Hmm. What, what, what the equivalent is they're playing? I see a dice. It's called clusterfuck. <laughs> game I just made up. It uses everything. <laughs> That's believable. Somehow, in your random quest through the warehouse, you manage to double back on yourself and come out the other side of the break room. Classic! This is classic you. You're almost charmed by yourself. Almost. <laughs> There's a frozen moment where all the bandits just stare at you and Conal, perhaps taking in the truly staggering idiot level you have achieved. We have high ranks in that. Yes. Thank fuck! We should have just done this from the beginning! 
Rawr! Oh god, it's getting messy already. You have gotten into quite a few fights before since arriving on this planet. Well, mostly you've stood around while the other people fought. <laughs> there she goes. Well, the point is, oh. Conil, she is brutal. She That's takes light. out almost the same number of bandits that you, Skylar, and Lady did in a quarter of the time. Oh, well, okay, well, that's some red, that's some gold, that's quite a lot of, uh, uh olive there. Multicolored heme flies. That's a bit of, uh, bronze. And god, you know these are bad guys. They've been stealing your side selling them, which sucks. Who too. Oh, that's more olive. Well, right now, they're kind of just a bunch of kids getting massacred. Oh boy. Oh, more olive. You don't feel great about it? Oh, a bit more rust. In fact, uh, you think you might need to sit down for a little bit. Damn it, put the... I'm already Stop. sat down. Oh, wow, is that teal? Your back hits the wall and you slide down to the dirty floor. You are clammy all over. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, that's more gold. Cornell pulls her gauntlet out of the final troll's neck with a spray of yellow heme and squelch that makes her stomach roll. She notices you on the ground. What are you? Ugh. Are you serious? Come on! You tried to tell her that she volunteered you for the mission herself, but you can't slow your breathing enough to get words out. You are not sure why now is the time you finally freak out? Maybe it's close quarters, or maybe you've been on alternative long enough for this multicolored mess to finally start registering as you. Maybe you've reached a horror saturation point. Whatever. If you've learned anything from this experience, it's that the why of things doesn't actually matter. We'll get this over soon. <laughs> Kanye looms over you, raising his gauntlet. She's gonna kill you. At least, if you're dead, you can't peek on yourself. Oh, that's a good But instead of brutally stabbing, you feel a steady pressure on your back of your neck. Kanye pushes your head down until it's between your knees. Take slow breaths, idiot! You follow her instructions, too lightheaded to dwell on the absurdity of being coached through a panic attack by a girl who just murdered like ten dudes. She's surprisingly good at this. Oh, she, uh... She's got a... She's got a mate. You, you Everything's cleaned up now, that's nice. <laughs> Dad, you freaked out his first fight too! It wasn't even that... That wasn't that glory! And that Rig Riggler passed out! <laughs> I guess some heme casts really... Some casts really are better built for violence! She sits down beside you and pats you on the back. You kind of wish you'd taken the Hemi Gauntlet off first, but you appreciate the gesture. Well, at least the screen's a bit cleaned up. You are having a hard time reconciling the, this Cornell with the one who had the one who had snarled at Skylar for being too nice. <laughs> I'm multifaceted. I also, also fuck her, which reminds me. She pulls her phone out of her pocket, smearing a little olive hume across the screen. Oh dear. Kurga, I got your bandits. She talks a lot louder on the phone than she does in real life, somehow. Yeah. No shit! Of course I work fast! Especially when I don't have anyone to slow me down with a bunch of tactics and plans! Ugh. Save it for you, Kismesis! She hangs up and glares at the phone. You tell her she really seems to hate Skylar. Oh. Colonel's face goes a fair shade of green. Don't be stupid! I barely know her. You don't press the issue. You also don't point out the kind of obvious point that these probably aren't the only trolls in the facility. The one who have been haggling with the adult is in here, for instance. But if Kono forgetting about them means less murder, you are all about it. There's no way the bandits are continuing their work after this. Kono also seems to have forgotten about the fact that she came in here looking to be paid and... Nope, she's losing the bodies. Great. Well, that's something. I mean, we do a lot of that. <laughs> yes. It's a lot messier and takes way longer in real life than it does in video games. Mm -hmm. In the end, she ends up with five farmhouses, a laptop, some jewellery, and some little squares of plastic you think might be sat by credit cards. <sighs> Whatever! There's barely anything here! But that fight made it pretty worth it! Well, you're glad it was good for somebody at least. You're just trying not to think about it and maybe get outside as fast as possible. Whatever Conan wants to do with your outstanding death at that point, well, you can square up out there. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'm not actually going to squeeze you. It would be just too easy. Like squishing a march bug. Mayfly. Mayfly. <laughs> Fuck yes, yeah, saved by being pitiful. I doubt you have any money anyway. I mean, you're wearing an abolition robe. What? Uh, dressing gown. Ah. 
Colonel helps you too. Do you kind of want to ask if you're friends now, even though the only bonding activity you've done together is combined murdering and comforting? Was that even both of those things and you standing there like a dumbass? But really, you've made friends with worse people, for worse reasons. Oh, here. But did you take one of these? She hands you one of the palm husks. Thankfully, it only has a little bit of heme on it. Actually, it might be mustard, like the actual condiment. But she's giving you a phone? Why? You don't have one, right? I mean, you don't even have any pants. This way, we can keep in touch. And you can tell me if I have any more jobs with an ex excellent violence level! Like this one! Here, this exchange info. Palm husks are really useful. You can use them to call people and everything. You aren't sure if she's making a joke. Possibly she just thinks you're an idiot. That's okay, you can deal with that. Because not only did you make a friend today, you got a gift today. Holy shit, you killed it. Like she killed them. Write my number. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> He's like, holy shit, is that Look mustard? how tall she is. Yes. The height difference is like a whole head height. Head, head shoulders, and knees and toes. The arm. <laughs> oh god, my throat kills after that. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stick about if you want to see some more. We go find some more friends. Do the show shiny, but that's my favorite. Let's stick about. What's more for now? Just sit tight and stay shiny. Bye bye. 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 bye.